question is what is the difference between a talent a talent and a spiritual gift this is a good question and before getting into the differences I want to first look at some of the similarities because there are some similarities between these two let's first look at similarities now what are the similarities between Larities between a talent and a gift. Well, both of them come from God. God is a source of talents and of spiritual gifts. So both, both are from God, from God, and both are perfected with use. So number two, both are perfected. Both are perfected with use. My electronic pen is giving a little trouble there. Let me fix that. Okay. Both are perfected with use. Another similarity between these two is that both are given for the same purpose. Both are given for... The benefit of others, of others, and a fourth similarity I can think about is that both of them ha can can be owned in multiplicity. What I mean by that is that you can have more than one of them. So you can have both. Uh, you, so there are several similarities, uh, and some of them are that God gives both it both talents and spiritual gifts, and that also they can be perfected with use. Because um, there's a misconception that if you're talented, then well, you're just talented. But when you're talented, your talent can be sharpened. As the same thing goes for spiritual gifts. And they are given for the benefit of others. God is a God of love. And the greatest commandment that we have is a commandment to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength, and to love others as God has loved us. So now let's look at the differences, now that we've looked at the similarities between these two. Now, differences. differences between talents and spiritual gifts well what's the source the source I said God gives both of them but we see that for talents actually let me draw a little table for you and put talents here and spiritual gifts here spiritual gifts so the let's say the channel since god is a source for both you get this through genes genetics and the environment that's through training so our natural talent i spell talent here a little wrong okay our natural talents are and uh, we get them through our genes our genetics and training also improves them. But our spiritual gifts come from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives them to us. Holy Spirit. So that's one difference that I, I can think of. Another difference is that of the person who gets them. Who gets them? Well, talents, God gives talents to everybody, both Christians and non-Christians. Everybody gets them. See, God is a God who makes his sun to shine on both the godly and the ungodly, and he gives rain to both the godly and the ungodly. God blesses unbelievers quite a bit. And one of the blessings he gives them is talents. But Spiritual gifts are given only to Christians. A third one that I can think of is, even though the purpose of, 
of spiritual gifts and talents are to glorify God. Spiritual gifts have an additional dimension of purpose that talents don't have. So to glorify, spiritual gifts are to glorify God and to build the church, specifically build the church. So, yeah, so the fourth one that I can think of is that of when a person receives them. When do you get your talents, that God gives you talents? Well, you get talents at birth. They come in your genes and you have your genes set at birth. And here, spiritual gifts are given to Christians when they become Christians. So at new birth, that's new birth is becoming a Christian. It's also called becoming born again. So another thing that I can think of, which I can call the fifth point here, probably is that you can have So faith, probably, you can have your spiritual gifts seize, can seize, can seize, can't seize. The talent is just given to you. Spiritual gifts, the reason spiritual gifts can seize is because spiritual gifts really aren't gifts that you take and, and go somewhere uh, or take and own. They're manifestations of the Holy Spirit in you. If you grieve the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit stops acting in you and so the expression of the spiritual gifts ceases. And another thing that I can think of here number to call number six is that uh, you can get more can you get more? You can you can get more of this, you can get more of this after you can ask God to give you more spiritual gifts and the Bible even encourages it Paul says we should seek the greater gifts gifts that build the church so if today you don't have a spiritual gift one particular one that you want you can ask God for it in prayer and if your motive is correct God is going to give you that gift so you can build the church uh, and but the point is that I want to also have you remember here is that every Christian gets a spiritual gift guaranteed. Every Christian is given one. Now, I think that everybody has a talent, but the Bible doesn't guarantee that. So that's about it. Uh, again, remember that all of them are God's graces that God gives to us. And that there are many similarities and some of the similarities are that both are from God, both are perfected with you, both are given for the benefit of others, and you can own more than one of them. And the differences are that genetic talents are received at birth, they, uh, they come in your genes and training Im improves them. The Holy Spirit is a channel for spiritual gifts and you also see that everybody gets talents but only Christians get Christians get spiritual gifts and that uh, spiritual gifts help to build the church and also glorify God and talents are given by God to glorify God and that you can ask more spiritual gifts if you want but your motive better be right and God guarantees pretty much to give you. That's the end. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and you'll get videos like this that explains little things. Bye-bye.